Ladies and gentlemen, playoff time is officially here, and today I'm going to be making my full, complete 2024 NHL playoff prediction. We're going to be breaking down every series, every player, everything you need to know about the playoffs right here, right now, going through the entire playoffs, ultimately leading to my Stanley Cup winner in the end. So who do I see winning the Stanley Cup? Who do I see winning every single series? Make sure you watch till the end as we go through the complete predictions, and hit that subscribe button if you're new for more all of the hockey content all throughout the playoffs, because you won't want to miss a thing there folks now we had to wait until the last day of the nhl season to actually get every single seeding correct and every playoff series locked in but this year's playoffs are looking absolutely feisty there are a lot of matchups here the ic being absolute bloodbaths and that's always what you want to see in the first round now we start things off of course naturally my favorite team winning the west the dallas stars commanded their destiny and of course with the last day of the nhl season it was a little bit of a discussion over whether they would face the kings whether they face the gold knights but ultimately they of course have to face Vegas the team that absolutely demolished them in the Western Conference final last year a team that of course has had all the storylines this season with the LTR and having all these players likely coming back for game one this is going to be a wild one folks but for me personally i'm pretty optimistic about the stars chances for one i've never been a big fan of teams that have this incohesive lineup and then expect it all to work out in game one of the playoffs and just magically work out completely for vegas there's going to be a lot of new faces and a lot of, of a lack of chemistry really and that could be a big thing that i think holds them back i also think jay gottinger has been incredible over these last couple of months and that was really the big thing for me for the stars that could have held them back in a big way and did hold them back at times in the playoffs last year was that goaltending but Ottinger has really taken that next step forward and has gotten hot towards the playoffs which is what I love to see but I think you compare the cohesiveness of the Stars lineup, the better goaltending, in my opinion, and as well, the defense that is heavily upgraded compared to last year. And I give the Stars the edge in this series. And for me personally, I'm going to pick the Stars to win this one in six. Next up, we go on to the second Central Division matchup. And bias aside, this would be one of the best series, in my opinion, with Winnipeg's home eyes, the wideout going to be absolutely insane there. It's going to be an interesting one. And to me, this series really swayed with who got home ice advantage. And we saw the Winnipeg Jets officially clinched it a few days back and that to me was the biggest thing even though of course the teams on the ice stay the same home ice advantage especially when you're factoring in Winnipeg and especially the abs who have been so dominant at home it I think guarantees the series. You also consider how good Winnipeg has been against Colorado throughout this season, shutting them down in a pretty massive way. And I think Connor Hellebuck is going to have his way with the abs. I think their rush attack is going to be stifled against Winnipeg in the way they play. And honestly, I see the Jets getting it done. And I see Winnipeg advancing on in six games. Now we move on to the rest of the West and starting us out with maybe the wildest, weirdest series out of all of these first round matchups. And that is the Vancouver Canucks versus the Nashville Predators team with at least to my knowledge basically zero rivalry whatsoever and it's gonna be a really fascinating one we really don't see these teams in any real big positions playing against each other because vancouver and nashville they've pretty much been better at different points throughout their franchises but this one is gonna be an electrifying one i think nashville should not be counted out in this series uc Saros could still come up big i think the way the preds play on the attack the way they produce offense it's really translatable to the playoffs but i think the big issue will be the finishing are they gonna be able to get past Thatcher Demko who will hopefully be fully ready to go and fully rested for the series that to me is the biggest question and with the upgrades that Vancouver has made I could see it turning that page in the playoffs but I think Thatcher Demko is really going to be one of the MVPs of this playoff run for Vancouver and be a big reason why the Canucks end up winning this series in five and going on to the last matchup in the West, man, I feel so bad for the LA Kings because the Oilers are truly their kryptonite when it comes to these playoff series. And I don't really see this version of the LA Kings having better fortunes than they had before. In fact, there are ways where I kind of prefer the older Kings team just a couple of years ago compared to this team. But there are still some good things about them. The goaltending could be an advantage potentially for them if, if Riddich is able to continue to have a great season or if they go for Cam Talbot. There are options there. And the defensive structure they have could lead to have some playoff success but it really hasn't translated versus an Edmonton team that has found ways to break through in every single series against him and I don't really see that stopping I see the Oilers winning in five games 
Now we're going to get into the Eastern Conference matchups in a second here, but first let's talk about today's sponsor in BetUS. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. When you guys go in the description and sign up with BetUS, use code JOIN125 and you'll get a 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, which is great because with everything going on, right now it is the best time to join with the nhl playoffs with the nba playoffs with the nba coming through there are so many options and with the us there's so many options as well with all of the playoffs of course available in both the us and canada you get 24 7 customer service 24 7 payouts and with how many options you have on bet us it's also pretty cool too you can go through every single series in the playoffs and predict who will win who has the best odds and potentially putting up some big numbers you also have of course the stanley cup winner that you can make predictions on and potentially win big there too you also got the nhl playoff awards you could predict the con smythe and this will be a really interesting race connor mcdavid right now with the best odds out of everybody but of course who knows maybe you go for somebody else of course a canadian team winning the kiss stanley cup and getting a con smythe winner you might go against that you also have the potential of every playoff series predicting so many things you could predict the most goals you can go through the most points in the series you could go through how many hat tricks will be in the series so many options there and to Today, I'm actually going to place one here of Jake Gensel having the most goals in that Islanders Kane series, which we'll get into in a second, but I think he's going to have a big one. Going to put $10 down to win 55, but Gensel is at a pretty great run with Carolina. I think he's going to continue that. But to make your own NHL of sports bets every single day, BetUS is the place to be. And thank you so much to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the NHL playoff talk. And next up, we have the Eastern Conference here in the first round. Some really fascinating matchups. And I absolutely love this first one. Florida versus Tampa. Not just because of the Florida rivalry, obviously. But how these two teams play, I think is going to lend itself to a nice, incredibly good long series. Especially with how Tampa's been playing lately, of course. And the, the MVP-like season. Nikita Kucherov has had there could be a really interesting series here against Florida but I do think with how top heavy Tampa Bay is with how inconsistent Vasilevsky has been with how rough that defense has really just been for the past couple of years I don't see a situation where Tampa is able to get over Florida I do see them keeping the series close I do see it going to seven games but I just think the way that Florida plays just lends to so much playoff success it's hard to bet against them and I see Florida winning this series in a seven games next up we of course had to have Bruins versus Leafs. It was destined to happen. And even though there's a lot of Leafs fans mad about it happening, I mean, I would much rather take the Bruins than the Florida Panthers. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Even though there's the demons there, you guys were able to exercise some of those versus Tampa last year. And I think there's a good chance of them exercising more this time around. The season series was absolutely dominated by Boston in a lot of ways. And that is true. I think they know how to play them pretty well. But I do think for the Leafs, just the the weapons they have, the, the depth that they have, I would vastly prefer over the Bruins just with how they're able to put it out there the only real question to me is that goaltending because it looks like a massive advantage coming into for the Bruins with Olmark with Swayman the options they have there if one player falters the other could come in and with Toronto even though Sam Sonov is the guy and he has been better as of late him being the answer doesn't give me the greatest aspirations in the world but I do think for Toronto they'll find ways to win games they'll find ways to keep games close not having home ways advantage does suck but I think for Toronto it hasn't been a problem in the past I think they're going to get past the Bruins in six games, though I could see that goaltending kind of being the worst versions of themselves and maybe losing them that series. But if it stays steady, I think Toronto gets it done. Now we go into the Metro Division matchups here and starting us out with Rangers versus Capitals. And here's the thing, y'all. I was kind of considering putting Washington as the winner. I was considering it with the way that they played, the way they win close games almost every single time. It's a miraculous feat. And with how Charlie Lindgren is playing, I could see a world where the Washington Capitals win this series, especially versus the Rangers team that is not all that effective five on five, has their massive issues too. And I think the Capitals stand a chance. I don't think this presence trophy winner was a strong one by any means. And the fact we saw the juggernaut Bruins 
lose last year means anything can happen in the playoffs. But I will say this. I think the Rangers will still eventually win it. I think Shostrick will be good enough to stand pat that mid Capitals offense. I think Panarin is going to have a fantastic series. And just like he did with the Penguins a couple years ago, take command of it as well in that game seven. Even though I see it going the distance, I do still see the Rangers winning, but I would not count out the Caps whatsoever. And then last but not least, same thing goes for the Canes versus the Islanders, though I am much more confident in the Canes being able to take over a series with the way they play and the upgrades they've made. They finally went out and got another superstar talent in Jake Gensel. And to me, you've seen the way that Carolina has played over these past couple months, the dominance they put out there. Freddie Anderson looks as good as he ever has been. And I'm kind of on the Carolina Hurricanes train right now. I do think the Islanders are underrated, and I do think Patrick Waugh has made it a much more complete team, but I do think the Canes will still win it in five. Unfortunately for the Islanders, they had upset potential but I don't think upset potential versus Carolina. But now we flip back to the second round of the Western Conference playoffs, and now we have Stars versus Jets. This is one that I think will be an incredible series. Though, again, with that home ice, I think it will be a major factor. Of course, they have the home ice against the Colorado Avalanche, but versus the Stars, they don't. And I do think the Stars will have the advantage there. I also just think when the with the way that the series has gone, with the way that the Stars have had this experience over the past few years, I think for the Jets, even though they've had a couple of playoff berths here and there, they've only really had one real run. Where for the Stars, I think they're much more prepared for the durability that the playoff requires. And especially for a lot of younger players on Winnipeg, it'll be a pretty new experience for them. But even though I see Connor Hellebuck playing fantastic, I still see the Stars getting the advantage in this series. The depth coming through for the Stars, the 5-on-5 five -five play being a massive factor in transition and being able to get past Winnipeg. This time, I'm going to say in five games. Okay. But now we need to see who the Stars will face in the Western Conference Finals. And next up, we go on to the Canucks versus the Oilers. And this is a big one as well with the home ice advantage the Canucks have. Winning that Pacific Division, I think, is a pretty major thing for them. The big thing for me is the health. The big thing for Vancouver is staying completely healthy because there's been a lot of inconsistencies in that regard this season. But to me, this will be a fascinating matchup. This is one that uh, a couple months ago we talked about being a potential possibility. And I had Vancouver in that series. And again, I, I I flip, I flip flop on this so often between these two teams who I would take in a playoff series. Of course, the top end scoring with, with Edmonton is, is absolutely ludicrous. And I do think their goaltending could stand to be, be a strength for them with Stuart Skinner realizing that potential. But it's just so interesting to me because I think Thatcher Demko continues to get underrated in this whole process. The year he has had, the consistency he's had throughout the year. If he's fully healthy, I still think Vancouver is able to go on a great run here. Here, and there might be some playoff inexperience, but I think there's always that one team that has a miraculous playoff run when they're pretty new to the system, and I think Vancouver will be that team. The big question will be if the defense is able to hold, but I think the goaltending will be a massive part of the series, and Thatcher Demko will be the best player on the ice throughout the entire series and lead Vancouver on to the Western Conference Final. Now back to the East, and we have the Panthers versus the Leafs, and here's the thing. Obviously, last year's second-round matchup was not even a competition. Florida wiped the floor with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And even though I don't see the Leafs winning this series, I see it being a lot closer. I see the Leafs pushing it to a respectable six games, but let's be honest, the Panthers are just in a different class. Though I think with the experience of facing them last year, Toronto will be much more well off. I think the Golden will be a huge advantage. I think Broski is going to have another great run and keep Florida back in the race. But for the last matchup in the second round, we got Canes versus the Rangers. This is one that we all want to see. I want to see so incredibly badly. And here's the thing. I think the Rangers obviously have some great options, some great aspects of the team. But I think on five on five, the way that most playoff games are played, the Canes are going to wipe the floor. They're going to take the Rangers lunch money and, and just destroy it. It is going to be a bloodbath in that aspect. And even though I would give the Rangers the serious special teams advantage, their power play obviously is ridiculous. I just think for Carolina, they have too many things going for them. And even though the home ice advantage does go the Rangers way, I think the Canes are just feisty this year. They could have a little bit of an edge. And again, that extra little bit of goal scoring with Gensel, I think, mean, is huge for them. I put the Canes over the edge, and I actually see the Canes winning in five games. 
But now we go into the final four, Stars, Canucks, Panthers, and Hurricanes. And the Western Conference Finals are going to be absolutely amazing. This is a matchup that would be incredible. With how much the Canucks have seemingly owned the Stars over the past few years, I would be a little bit scared. But I think this is the time where the Stars and that durability, getting back to the Conference Final, they've been there here before, they've been here countless times before, I think will really aid them in a lot of ways. The durability there, as well as just the depth that the, that the Stars have, the ability to roll all four lines and get production from all of them the goaltending and Ottinger I think is going to be huge the defensive play throughout the entire roster to me is going to be a massive big win for them and even though I like a lot of parts about Vancouver and coming up to this series uh, Quinn Hughes uh, JT Miller Patterson Besser Thatcher Demko I thought would all be humongous performers I do think they'll kind of falter a little bit by the time the Western Conference final comes around but I got the stars officially moving on and being the representative out of the Western Conference and finally getting back to the cup final but next we have Panthers versus Hurricanes. And I think most people would probably say the Panthers have the advantage and you could definitely make a great case for it. The way they play and of course the experience in the past in this series could be a fascinating turnaround. But I do think for Carolina, again, that extra little bit of goal scoring edge is exactly what they needed. And I could see a situation where Freddie Anderson maybe comes into this situation in the conference final already having a great run and continuing that dominance. But this is going to be an absolute bloodbath. It would absolutely go all the way to seven games but i just think carolina has that interesting edge to them this year and i think this is finally the season knock on wood that they go and finally move on to the stanley cup final and here we are we have to choose one the dallas stars versus the carolina hurricanes as my cup pick and i mean this is obviously one that i'm sure a lot of people would probably put out there probably stars and panthers maybe more likely but to me i don't think we're going to see a ton of crazy upsets this year maybe like march madness this season be a little bit more standard a little bit more boring but i still think this series is going to be an incredible one we have two teams that dominate five on five possession two teams that have so many great offensive players so many players throughout the roster that just complement each other it is going to be two great teams not just a group of players teams through and through and to me i could absolutely see it going either way as a stars fan i'm usually pessimistic with these things and i have true chosen them to win the cup before like i did in the preseason but again i just think carolina has the extra little bit of edge and i'm going to predict them to win the stanley cup and i'm going to predict them to win in six games i think it will be relatively close throughout a lot of the series but kind of like that stars stanley cup final versus tampa i think the canes will kind of just run away with it in the end get some big wins late and win the series and win the Stanley Cup in 2024. But those are my Stanley Cup picks, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Of course, if you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'd love to know in the comments down below why you hate me for predicting the Stars versus the Canes, or why you hate me for not picking your team. Let me know all your thoughts down below, and let me know your Stanley Cup winner as well. What do you see happening throughout these entire playoffs? Who do you have winning? Who do you have advancing on and winning the Cup in the end? I would love to know your thoughts down below, y'all. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Should have been with all the hockey fans you guys know online and click on this card right here for all of my predictions content right in one playlist for you to binge this has been honor and hopefully the playoffs are a fantastic one this year we're oh, we are set for some pretty good hockey and i hope you guys enjoy just like i'll be enjoying so i'll see you in the next one and i hope you have a great hockey day and goodbye